Hey. How's my favorite girl? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm okay. Oh, I'm your favorite girl. I love that. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, so sweet. Definitely. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm so glad you're here, Hilda. And thank you so much for everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, everyone <laughs> being here ahead of time. And thanks for, Hilda, thank you for reminding everyone about the all caps. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Olivia's going back to get some more coffee. That's funny. <laughs> some coffee. I just threatened to do that myself. <laughs> if you need it, you get up and make it anytime. No, I'm fine. Anytime. I'm already rejuvenated just because we hit the live, go live button. So I'm good. Yeah. Oh, and I did get all the questions off the community page, except for if there was anything after 1130. I didn't. And Annie Bear, I did. Um, I commented on yours. I can't remember what it was, but I, it was something that we didn't need to read on. And maybe because it was last week, I can't even remember what it was. So if you have a different twist on it, but check my comment first, because I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I know. It's like in one ear and out the other. Oh, uh, look at YouTube user. Greetings from New Zealand. First time catching you live. Love you two together. Aww. Oh, New oh Zealand. That's awesome. Charles, thank you. Uh -oh. thank you. All right, Denise. It's certain. <laughs> <laughs> I will work for food. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, right. Uh Yeah, Connie, that, that one's that that one's tricky. They're kind of on they're on alert uh, with that one. Um yeah. Gina, I was wondering, Lisa, you, she hasn't received your channel's notification yet. Is everything okay? Well, you probably oh. don't have your notifications set to all. When you don't get the notifications because you you have them set, you have the bell checked, but you don't have it set to all. You have to go That's back and awesome. do that. And you have to do it on every device or the device that you're on. <laughs> you can't just set it on your computer and expect your phone to notify you, right? Good point. It doesn't work that Good way. Good point. It Thank work goodness. Otherwise, I would never get through anything on my iPad that I'm trying to watch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's a good point to bring up. Yeah. So the notifications are, are well, they're particular to your device. How and always you check to make sure you're subscribed just in general, because sometimes it bumps you off. So, yeah, I've had people saying that. Yeah. Yeah. A dub says it is sucking on the lies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's not, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Christine. Hey, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I have the two, whoops, I guess there's three star, no, two star questions. And uh, and I have a bunch in the banner. So let me get started with this one. Um, Mark Meadows. I think I know the answer to that one, but I'm going to, I'm just going to pretend that I've never read on him before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, see if something new comes through. So where is he? Where is he? Okay. Oops. Where is he? Doesn't go there. Oh, Gina's place said, yep, it's set to all. Okay. Good. And, and on the device that you're on too? So are you, is, is it just really screwing up? Oh, A-Dub is saying, as in YouTube isn't, YouTube sucks, she's saying, as in because it isn't starting them or fiving no notifications of oh, starring them starting them giving them giving oh them? yeah it's got to be that starting them or giving notifications okay well i have mine from lisa because i'm i have her set to all um but anyway hilda says never what never what never 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 what 
Never, oh. she says. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, Charles says, breaking weather report, stormy in New York City on Monday. <laughs> oh, but up, boom, that's a good one. Yeah, well, it'll just be the jury uh, selection. I don't think anybody's going to be there. Um, because it, and it could take weeks to get that jury all set. Um, yeah, but there's, I saw the lineup, there's like 15 or 16 people that they have set for uh, testimony. Pretty much. So you said you have, you've, you've done a video or have done a reading on Mark Meadows recently? Is that what you oh, said? Long, it, I think we've read on him a while back, but um, yeah, I, he has his, I think he has his own playlist. But anyway, yeah, let's see where he is now. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? I mean, I've got some stuff right off. It, I, I used the DECA character. Yeah, me too. I'm just curious to see if you, this is what you got, if you remember uh, what you got before this. Oh, if I remember what I got, where he is? Hiding under a rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, my very first card I got was Vomit. I think he's, uh, he's struggling, guys. I also got, uh, well, I can't hold that one up. But gained a lot of weight. Maybe he's doing some bulimic thing. Maybe. Uh, he's he's feeling very vulnerable and mm -hmm. there's something going on. I got broken heart also. Wow. House under construction. Bulldozer. I mean, he's really going through some stuff. I got mother, but it actually made for him with this, it made me think of self-care kind of. I think he's uh. Yeah, going through some stuff, and I also got tongue. I don't know if he's uh, having to bounce off his emotions on somebody. You know, maybe he's talking. This is he in therapy? Is he something's going on with him? Is what I'm getting. Uh, yeah, lots of. I, I guess he lots of self preservation kind of stuff. Yeah, in his Definitely. own way. Yeah. What do you get over there? Uh, well, a long time ago, I did get that he flipped. I, I think I've gotten it two or three times, but right now it looks like, or at least what I'm getting with the deck of characters, that uh, he's in a hole, running around in circles. Okay. <laughs> the maze of his own head. Um, as far as if he flipped, I don't. I didn't get the flipper card, but I did get the survival card. You okay. Know, he's trying to survive. And he put a Band-Aid on whatever was hurting him with that, you know, from that naked man, right? Mm. So, yeah. Uh, Poor I'm Marky pretty, Mark. Pretty sure he flipped. Well, he had, you know, uh, all those text messages coming in from Jenny Thomas and all, all these other people. Uh, he Like, he knew it all. He, mm -hmm. he knew it all. And so... Yeah. I just can't remember uh, who he. It's um, like he was a, an information filter kind of sort of, right? Yeah. Well, he was Mark Meadows. Uh, I'm sorry. He was Trump's uh, like right hand dude when the whole Gen, you know, J6 thing was happening. Yeah. And he wasn't going to do anything because Trump said he didn't want to do anything about it. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, New Hampshire Mountain Dancer probably witness protection. Yeah, right. Um, he is saying that he loses his latest bid to move to Georgia election case. Mark Meadows loses his latest bid to move Georgia election case to federal court. Thank you for looking at that. Hmm. Yeah, right. Because he is one of the. Um, he's one of the. You know. People that got what's what's the word when they <laughs> they got arraigned, brought in, and booked for the Georgia case? He was one of those nineteen subpoenaed, uh, uh, brought in, booked, brought in, and booked. Brought in and booked. He's the main got, thing I remember with him was with the Jan six with the Jan six thing where he was on his phone the whole time. And yeah, I know that's the thing I remember too, and mm -hmm. and something about a book, a big book of documents that that um, a huge binder. Remember the big binder of documents that mm -hmm. uh, Cassidy Hutchinson was saying that he, you know, he had. She saw him running out with it. Right, right. 
So there's all of that. Indicted. Yes. Probably indicted. all those plans from, you know, those those guys like, oh, was that Jeffrey Clark and that other guy? Anyway. Yeah. Rose Blue. Oh, that one's far off. As, as far as timing, it'll be a while. But so we do, I do have a question on that. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Questions. Yeah. Uh, let me get over here to the banners because someone. Okay. What question. Here we go. It's Nancy Faye. Beyond the legal implications of New York Hush Money trial, how do we see Trump attempting to constrain his words and behavior in the courtroom? So this is, you know, weeks ahead, but his speech is rapidly descending to word salad. <laughs> well, let's see. What's he going to do? Let me see. What is he going to do? It's hard, it's hard to read on someone so unpredictable, right? Yeah. Crazy is crazy. Crazy is crazy. Super crazy, man. You know what I just got? I, 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 first word that came into my head was medication. Right. I think he's going to be medicated. They won't say it, of course, but. I, How I else can he, you know, because yeah. we know he snorts something to get up and go. And then he just started ringing. Uh, my whole left side was just like, there was a weird yeah. thing going on in my ear too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So, huh. yeah, he, cause he, he snorts Adderall or Coke or whatever to, to get going, to get him going in the morning. Cause he, and he doesn't sleep well at night and he takes pills to go to sleep at night. So what's he going to take to mellow out? Like there's right. something. Valium or something like some kind of low dose, whatever. I guess. Okay, what's he gonna do? When the time comes, what will he do? He's saying he doesn't mind uh, testifying. He plans on testifying, but he, he, I'm sure that he, he. I know for sure he won't make a good. Um, that would probably not be to his benefit. I don't think his team yeah. would have him. What is he going to do? And, you know, when you have some a, a loose cannon on the stand like that, he's liable to say he's liable to provide more of an answer than what he is being asked. Mm -hmm. And that just opens the door for more stuff. Like if, if there's something in his world that he doesn't want to disclose, yeah, they can totally get on him about it. If he, bleh, you know, spits it out. Right. Uh, trying to be sassy. Right. Uh, like the way junior talks about stuff. Like, well, you know, we get money from Russia or whoever, whichever one of them said that he, he yeah, say something weird. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then they'll just pounce on that. They'll just pounce on him. Yeah. Yeah. Words. Oh, thanks, Charles. Oh, hey. Charles. Da, 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 da. Yeah, right. Oh, she's got the matching bra on today. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, he's right here. The other end. Okay. Yeah, I kind of. I don't know. What are you getting, Lise? My stuff's kind of confusing here, but I did get the five of wands. So, yeah, I mean, he's going to fight to the death on this, right? right. Um, yeah. I got the king of pentacles. <laughs> I guess that's him. Uh, he probably thinks he can still buy his way out of anything he would happen to get in the middle of. Yeah. But I got um, nine of pentacles. In the chariot. Uh huh. Jeez. I, I, I think 
I'm seeing this as kind of chaos a little bit, but I'm also seeing this as low hanging fruit. Uh, I think he's going to um, create an atmosphere that it's going to be really negative against his defense on everything. But this is pretty much him just coming out of the gate. He's just going to be buck wild. Um, yeah. It is going to have to take some restraint. I don't think he can do it. I still I'm, I'm feeling that medication vibe. Um, <laughs> and look, I get the King of Cups. He look how he's kind of meditative. <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't know. like that is kind of stoned, you know. I mean, you can look at it that way. I totally look at it that. Yeah. Way. So. Yeah. But if that's any, any of the kings using drugs, it'd be the king of cups. Reverse, yeah. but you know, whatever. There that. you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So okay, that's so interesting. So I, I have it like here he is in court, <laughs> mm -hmm. obsessing like you know he really wants to say something, and then and then here here's his that the wheels of his brain I think are just going around and around and around and he doesn't know what to do and he's mm -hmm. sitting there in his own little world is what I'm mm -hmm. getting. But when it comes to you know push comes to shove, um so I this is probably um uh his one of his you know counsels you know whoever whoever's on his team and that Corker and guy I thought he quit I thought I thought that guy quit six months ago. I thought he quit last June, but everybody was telling me from my reading yesterday. It's like, well, you you got it right with that one because that's Evan Corker and that that just quit or just left his team. But oh, I thought he'd already left. Is my thing, um, and because Trump he might, lied, he might have been getting a, a feeling he was going to. Well, he, he lied to him. He told him the documents uh, that they already got all the documents. He told, he told his own attorney that, that he already gave back all the documents. Like he told wow. him his own attorney. And then they, then, then he found them. Uh, Corker had found more documents. And so then he, you know, got his butt hauled in, of course, because he needed to. And, and he, He's totally flipped on Trump. So that's coming down the line someday, probably way after the election. But anyways, I don't know who, which council this is that Trump is holding uh, for that trial, but they're going to, they're going to distract the, you know, what out of him and try to get him to, to just, you know, shut up, keep it in the, keep it in the brain, keep it in the box, whatever. That's, that's all I'm getting there. But I'm glad you got the, the drug part because I'm pretty I'm sure you're right about that. Can't you just picture somebody kind of kick nudging him or kicking him under the table sometimes? Like you well, know. don't dare say anything. And then yeah. you know what he's gonna do is he's gonna say it, say something stupid after he gets out, you know, out into the, you know, during all the breaks and recess, you know. Right. Because he yeah, the, the eternal showman, right? He likes to be the center of attention. So yeah, mm -hmm. I can yeah. totally see that too. Yeah, yeah. He's and he's got to have the last word, and yeah. So anyway, yeah. Um, oh, Jeff, Tarot asked backwards. I forgot you were on. What is wrong with me, man? It's Saturday, and I'm sure you had a long week. <laughs> it's right? Just, there's just been so much going on. Charles, yeah, distract the fuck out of him. <laughs> What's the what he says? <laughs> What's the you know what? <laughs> he is just like a toddler. He totally is. He really is. Maybe he needs a little toy uh, to distract him. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So, uh, uh Legos or something. That would right. <laughs> So Larry was wondering, or Larry, or it might be his wife. Um, anyway, they both use the same handle. Uh, Dorian, might be Dorian. Okay. Uh, how's Don Jr. handling the pressure? Ooh. <laughs> how's he doing? Setting up the lines. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don Jr. <laughs> Cleaning off the mirror. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> You're right, though. Probably. Something. Most likely. That's what he's doing right this second. I just can't imagine doing something like that to your body on a daily basis. Yes. I mean, it seems like it's such a Russian roulette kind of a moment. I mean, I mean, you know, some people do it for years and it's great. And then somehow do it once and they're out. It's like, oh my God, oh. why even go there? Yeah. It's so oh dangerous. My God. Yeah. It's like a slow death, right? Yeah. yeah. When uh, you do it for years. Oh, geez. I just can't. I can't even imagine. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know it makes you incontinent. So, <laughs> yeah. Colon blow, I suppose. Huh? <laughs> if you, you want some that? blowouts, if you want yeah. to blow and blow out, yeah, go for it, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of that SNL, those old commercials they used to make. Oh, God. SNL's so funny. Yeah. Oh, friends with monsters. Okay, I have your question there. Questions in all caps, though, you guys, please. You're just you're lucky I saw that one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously, I divide and just looked right over. <laughs> all caps. All caps. Yeah. <laughs> Rose Blue. When a C45 and Junior fight, leave a mirror with a line on it, with only one line on it. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Gina, Gina says, I was multitasking, so my response is slow, but I think that DJT lawyers can buy him a happy meal and he'll be fine. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Don Jr. Ooh. Interesting. Do you want to go first on this one? No, go for it. Right. If you're ready, I'll go if you want me to. I might be ready. Okay. I use Libby's cards for this one. Oh, cool. So yeah. her I, I got hard work and rebuild mm -hmm. and cover. Yeah. I think it's really, I think those really indicate that he's trying to rebuild a narrative. Yeah. He's really trying hard to rebuild uh, the confidence behind dad. You know, I, I think that's a lot of what that rebuild means there with the hard work and all that and gives him comfort. Of course, we know about all the daddy issue stuff. So anything to get in uh, seniors, good graces on stuff, but I did get dark energy. So that could be a lot of what we were talking about. Yeah. I got divided. I, I think we could call that within the family, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even within his immediate family, not just the overall Trump family. Yeah. I got technology, social media, and I got down after that. So, oh, is that the S Trump social thing? It could be that. It could be that, and and it could also be uh, that he, when he watches what's going on online, you know, he he get, he goes down himself. Okay. Well, here's my last one: is evil energy. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! What do you mean? <laughs> Ian says Don Jr. needs to rebuild the bridge of his nose with all that coke he has snorted. That that septum is gone. <laughs> Is non-existent, man. Yeah. Good point, Ian. <laughs> uh, Debsy, okay, I have your question there. Thank you for the all caps. Okay, I I get that he's he's up in his head just thinking. He's trying to think of a strategy as to uh, you know maybe politically work it, or but also what's legal. Like he's he's stuck in his head is what he's is what he's doing. Stuck in his head. Stuck in his head and. Lies, just lies, 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 constantly lying. And then he is worried about somebody flipping. 
uh, he's, you know, the, this this one here is like the Nine of Swords and even the Nine of Swords reverse, which is just really awful, uh -huh. uh, you know, politically speaking or on a personal level. But the, the gift card can be somebody flipping or somebody just keeps giving him more and more reason to worry. Oh, what boy. I'm there. Uh, and he's just specifically worried about uh, with the New York you know, it's actually an election interference case. It's a criminal case. He's really worried about all the documents because he remembers signing things and he remembers seeing things and he remembers because he's has seen all the documents in, you know, everything that has gone on. Okay. So, so there's that. that that's how I, how I get out of his feeling. And then of course, you know, we, of course, there's all the drugs and the up and the up and down and the. That's probably why you got that division card there. Just feeling like. Oh, that's a good point. Am I up or am I down? Which way do I go now? You know what? That division could be a line of coke. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's his nose right there. <laughs> his nostrils. His nostrils and a line of coke, right on. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes, Deb Z. Evan Corcoran will spill the tea and it will be devastating. And it's not just Evan Corcoran. Well, that that would be on the other trial that that'll be for the stolen documents case. But for the New York hush money case, which is election interference, they have a, a huge lineup. I can't even I mean, it's it's not just Stormy. It's Karen McDougal. It's David Pecker, which <laughs> Here's the kicker. Here's here's it's like yes, make this into a movie, please, because here's how you figure out how fucking stupid Trump is. Okay, all he ever had to do was was pay David Pecker that 150 grand he owed him for the catch and kill, which he didn't. He cut him out. He he's just like no, you okay, fine, no, I'm not paying you, whatever. Even though he owed him, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And and I don't know if it was for the Karen McDougal or or Stormy Daniels or both of them or whatever, but <laughs> David Pecker uh, went and you know told everybody about it. Otherwise, it would have it would have stayed you know caught. The catch and kill would have been killed. The I love story that. would have never gotten out because Karen Karen McDougal was fine with it. She she got her money and it's like okay, I'm fine. You know, that, that's some good karma because, you know, he, he didn't follow up with the wrong guy. You know, he, he's notorious oh. for not following up with paying w when he makes promises and he finally got nailed. Yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. I know. I so I can't wait because uh, we know that'll be a movie someday. Oh, it has to be. But yeah, so there's even um, Rana McGrath or Rana Graf. I can't remember if it's McGrath or Graf. I think it's Graf his old secretary. Um, so Michael Cohen, I'm trying to see if I think if I can remember the faces that were lined up, but I do remember it's like Michael Cohen, Stormy, um, uh, Karen McDougal, don't know the, uh, oh, David Pecker, don't know the other ones, but they were people that worked with Trump. And mm -hmm. then there was, um, then there's another whole row of people that I didn't know at all, except for I recognized Rona McGrath. Gotcha. Rona or Rona. I, can't, I don't know how to say her name. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Perfect. I think it's perfect. It, it's such a an irony that a man who is so money focused, it's actually money that takes him down. It has to be that way, right? Money yeah. and women. Money and women. Yeah. Wow. I just think it's hilarious. It's like right. how ironic, right? Yeah, for but, sure. But, you know, there, it's not, it's, there really isn't the irony because it's just the way it goes. That's true. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let me look at... Um. Here's another one from Larry. I Ooh, what's that? Group layout? What's no. that? I don't know. Something on my computer popped up. When oh, you yeah? Up. Really? You want me to try hiding it and see what happens? There. 
No, it's still it there. Disappeared. Oh, it disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it up again. Here we go. Did it pop up again? No. Okay. Something weird. It was weird. It said like group layout, something, something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's weird because I was over here clicking this, not going over there. What if if I hover over group layout? No, that says spotlight. I don't know what this this one says group. No, I got it's nothing. not doing anything. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. No worries. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, Janine, I think we've we've read on we've read on that before, but I I'll I'll star it just in case that I know who you're talking about. We're talking about the mad blonde. <laughs> oh yeah. Lyndon Bishop says, put this on Trump's tombstone. The worst wannabe mob boss in history. <laughs> Isn't he? Oh my gosh, he's terrible. Yeah. So, okay. Do we see Trump throwing the mad blonde, MTG, under the bus because she's so unpopular among 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 mega. Among mega. Among mega. <laughs> Popularity does matter to him. That's true. And, you know, she is so uh, under his spell. She would probably throw, she'd probably lay under the bus for him. You know what I mean? She's kind of weird like that. <laughs> You'd see nothing but her little feet hanging out from underneath the bus. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's so stupid. She That's so hilarious. Yeah. She would <laughs> do like a, a baseball slide, you know, like how they slide on their tummies. She'd yeah. slide right under that bus. Oh. And, you know, his stupid hat, the the, the whole make, you know, it, it's bigger and, and dumber than it's ever been. <laughs> it's, it's like a big fucking square like thing. And the bill goes way out and it's like 45 to 45 dash 47 on the sides. Really? It's just big. I, every time I see him with that, I'm just like ass hat. It's turned. He's a it's, ass it's hat. turned into a, a billboard size hat. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> this flipped out. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, my first card was Seven of Pentacles. I think it's it's simmering. It's going to happen. It's growing. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, that idea of that happening, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Libby, she definitely looks so stupid at the State of the Union speech. I mean, to the point it's like she made made Biden jump back a little bit. <laughs> oh man! Okay, how's it gonna go? Oh boy. Huh. Well, besides the rest in peace, I mean, it, it looks to me like we're going to be celebrating watching her karma come through. <laughs> oh, okay. Watching that, that wheel of fortune come through and, and then all this like convoluted, cra the crazy, 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 crazy. And I don't know if there's something down the line that's like super, super important. There's there's something about maybe, I don't know, money, some money and mm -hmm. some bullseye. Maybe this is her because, you know, she shoots guns, right? Right. Maybe something with some target practice that somebody, I don't know, maybe she screws up, accidentally hits somebody. Makes me wonder. I got um, I got the seven of wands and knight of cups. Oh. I think she wouldn't mind being his protector of some sort. So, yeah, um, and to protect himself too, to throw her under the bus. I'm seeing it that way too. Um, yeah, he would, right? Bottom line, he would. Yeah, I'm glad you're putting your link in there, Libby. Everybody should have a deck, your deck. And next time you make one, I have a special request. Can you put in a card that is kissing a 
somebody kissing a butt, like lips and a butt. <laughs> I, we need a kiss ass card. Lips on a butt. That's perfect. Yeah. Like, like even if it's just a, a butt with like a tattoo of lips on it, something like that, or that'll work. We're talking, no, we're talking the lips or <laughs> like the side <laughs> going out and, and the buns just on one side. So there's nothing graphic. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Um, I've got loss and okay. at the other end, a loss of wealth. Uh, and for her family, like she's going to be going through that too. So whether or not, you know, he throws her under the bus, she's, her life is going to be suck, sucking eggs. Makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> Charles says he's surprised that she's not on his secret service detail. <laughs> oh, I think that's hilarious. She's a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Wayne. <laughs> hey, Wayne. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Let me get back over here. Hi, oh, this one. Okay. And let me get over to the starred questions just in case. Oh, yeah. Those, we are building those up. Okay. Got that one. Um. Hugs, Greeter. Yeah. Is Greeter here? Hi, Greeter. Hey. hey. Hugging everybody. <laughs> Let's see. Deb C is wondering, while we're still on this subject, do, do yeah. we see the judge putting 45 in a timeout, like in another room, because he acts out? <laughs> I mean... It doesn't go that way. It goes, <laughs> it's called contempt of court. Right. You might get, you might get three warnings and then, and then he's taken out and put into jail. Right. Yeah. There. The secret service guys go with him and then they work all that out and they can sit, they can sit outside that sale that right. you know, eight hour shifts. They probably would have a couple extra, but rather than his normal two. Right. Yeah. But let's see if we'll, let's just add, let's switch it up. Maybe somebody else could type it. Deb, if you're here, honey, maybe you could retype it. Or did we have like, another will, will one? He be, will he be held in contempt of court? Or? Yeah. Because I, I thought I saw somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Did I do that? What is happening over here? I, I swear I, did I didn't. I didn't I do thought it. I like Urkel. Did I do that? Yeah, I did do that. Sorry, I didn't mean to do <laughs> okay. that. Have, have some fun playing. Go ahead. Right. That's fine with me. <laughs> Bizarre. There we go. <laughs> that was Let, let's try. Let's see. No, that's a different one. It was a gag order. Yeah. Maybe somebody could put in the question. Um, Oh, oh, Sharon O'Brien about RFK Jr. Cheryl Hines, she loves him. She's a sick fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Um, there you go. Oh, you did it. Thank you, Hilda. Awesome. <laughs> it, I, there's a bunch of all caps here. So I, now I'm like, yeah. Uh, Christine, go have your question there. Okay. Got that. Okay. Oh, Cor had it in too. Okay. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Let me see. I'm sorry. Sorry about my potty mouth, but no, RFK Jr. and his wife are both sick. We love, love your each, potty mouth. They love each other. You know, I did kind of like it with you up front there. Here, there we go. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> God. Stop. I see, I see you up there. <laughs> No, no, no. There we go. This way we can everyone can see the cards better. All right. I'd rather be back so they don't see me, but you can't Please. see me. Okay. Will Trump be held in contempt of court? How's that gonna go for him? Uh, well, 
I don't know. Me neither. Oh, it's Rose Blue just gave you some swear jar money or something. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, you got it for putting up with me. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when you swear. It's no problem over here. <laughs> I do it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got Speaking of self, that's actually the card that I got for oh. this question. No Trump being hung contempt of court. I got the self card. I got mm -hmm. weirdo. So you know he's going to be in true form. I think. Not making this up, my third card is jail cell. And I, I wasn't 100% sure before doing the cards, but I think it's interesting that this card did come up. Let's yeah. let's see what the next one is, though. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Inferno. Uh, maybe his temper is going to get the best of him. Maybe. 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 A little hot-headed. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm gonna that say jail yeah. cell card is man. Yeah, yeah. So now I, I've heard that Judge Juan Marchand is, and he's the you know the judge for the New York case that he runs his court like a really tight ship, like a like a federal court. Like he doesn't mess around. Okay. And the reason this one's going first is because every time something was going to be appealed or delayed or whatever, like he he they just New York the state of New York hates him so much that they all came down the appeals court just no you know all right and and, uh, and Juan Rashan knew you know he knows all his delay tactics so that's why it's it got bumped up interesting but I've got a ruling for justice oh okay a ruling for justice that affects his his health uh, on some level too or it's like a big SOS sign maybe Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then and then out so he could get out, out of there yeah he kicked right out yeah yeah and the and the um using the lennies i mean i've got one two three three yes cards and then the big bird <laughs> wow guilty yeah not looking promising for sure no not at all wow so now there's another one in here. Well, while we're in the same vein, um, that that takes care of yours, um, Maria or Marie Rose Blue. Um, okay, with that. Hey, everybody, hit the like button wherever you are. There's a lot of people here today. Look at oh, this. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey. Thanks wow. for being here. We know you could be out having fun somewhere else. So thanks for being here with us. Yes, thank you. Especially now that the weather's better. Yes, yeah. This is right. this is the season, right? Yeah. Uh, will he violate the gag order? This is another. Right. <laughs> he has, he's. Well, I think we read on it a couple of weeks ago, but we can just check in again. Okay. Yeah. Will he violate the gag order? Will he violate the gag order? All right, I'm getting my middle of the road thing with the pendulum, so there's more to this story. Interesting. <sighs> hmm. Well, I dropped the card. I dropped the judgment card. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Interesting. Okay. As far as a yes or a no. I mean, I've got a little bit of a story here. It's going to be really, really, really hard for him. I would love to see your story. I, I'm not getting a definitive yes or no other than this judgment card for sure. But I got yeah. temperance. I got ten of wands. 
Oh. Yeah. Like maybe not right away, but eventually. And yeah, maybe that's it's a load of violations there. <laughs> I don't know. Right. <laughs> Too heavy of a load. Too for heavy sure. of a load. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, he, I'm sure he would be given like three warnings. You know, he'd be given one, right. two, and then three. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it has to be a succession of right. So that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm still not getting really clear. I think I should use a a clearer deck. I suppose. Okay. Here we go. go for it. I mean, with Libby's is good. I've got this backstory about that he's full. He's just like hold on. He can't like, mm -hmm. and it and it happens via uh, a woman's testimony. Mm -hmm. And this is a woman who has flipped, and it was and it's somebody who worked for him. So I'm thinking Rona McGrath. Um, and then he goes into like breakdown mode. Mm. And and he's in the swamp, <laughs> but wow. I yeah, but I don't have the jail card there. Let me see. Uh, somebody said a load in his diaper when you held up swamp, and then I immediately thought of swamp ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gross! You do the Stephen Colbert. <laughs> 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 oh crap! Wait, here we go. Oh, oh crap. So a waterfall of, <laughs> like, he just loses it. Yeah. I wonder if it doesn't happen actually in the courtroom, but then he goes out later and says something stupid and, and maybe even goes after the daughter again. Because, the you know, all of this is about the, Judge the Judge Marchand said, you know, come after me. I'm a judge. That's fine, but you you can't come after my daughter, right? You're making a oh. good point of that because he does have yeah, a tendency to uh, attack after the fact whoever is testified or whatever. So yeah, after one of those. Now these cards make sense. I didn't understand these cards before, but now now that I've said that, uh, yeah. Protection. So the, the dog is about protection. So he would mm -hmm. be wanting to protect his daughter. This is the tree card in this deck. It's like the family, you know, so family tree. Okay. Right? And then, and then the obstacles. So the wall that Trump is going to hit and, wow. and judge Juan Marchand worried about like hidden enemies that might come out to, um, you know, go after his daughter. Mm -hmm. Right. Cause we're talking safety and all of that. And then again, so there's in this deck, there's different trees. I've got both of them. So it's definitely about protecting his family. Okay. Family tree there. Hmm. Maybe that's why I had that red cross before. Like, you know, you don't get to come past this. Oh, gotcha. Maybe. I don't know. You know, it's, it's hard to just. For whatever reason, this yeah, gag order when we just get the just get the answer. Yeah, this gag order question has been a little challenging, but yeah, because it you know we're trying to predict what a crazy person will do, and we know that he doesn't want to go to jail. That would be like the worst thing in the world for him to be stuck in a place where he can't text or not text, but you know post on social media, sure. do his thing, and yeah. So. Um, how does that work if if you're in contempt of court and they throw you in jail for whatever period? Of, can you have visitors? I would think not because you're in the middle of a court case. I would think not. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question, but I would think not. I would hope so. Yeah. I mean, right? Because it's a pending trial. It's not like you're convicted and you're in there and then, yeah, sure, you can probably have visitors. But I would think while that's going on, you're completely isolated. Yeah. And if like you were saying before on uh, this on a whole nother side note, but you were saying about the, um, the <laughs> drugs or medication when you got the word medication or medicated, mm -hmm. that would might keep him kind of calm. So he doesn't react, you know, keep too quickly, but he's going to be tripped. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm thinking, but yeah. anyway. Uh, let's see. Christine is wondering, will Marjorie Taylor Greene move now to bring the floor or move to bring to floor to remove Mike? To remove Mike. Little Mike or Mikey Johnson. What is she going to do? I'll just go with a yes or a no. I guess it really is as simple as that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Will she try to get him removed? Mm. Mm -hmm. I got mine. What do you what do you have? Do you got a yes? I got a no. You got a no? Yeah. Mm. Are you getting a yes? Well, I've got a neutral. The trees is neutral. Uh, the the stork is yes, and mm -hmm. the moon is the yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and no, no, yeah, it's and, two yeses. That's pretty. Yeah, but but you got to know, so it's kind of mixed. Maybe it maybe it's just in flux right now. You know, because he went down and kissed the ring and talked to Trump and. Um, and he voted on the FISA bill, which is a good thing. Uh, Mike Johnson did, which is probably why Marjorie Taylor Greene would want to get him removed. But then Trump said later on, um, he's okay with that. He's okay with the FISA thing, and two years is okay. And you know, tried to act like, like, yeah, we have to be safe from the Russians. <laughs> safe yeah. from my bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save for my, my bread and butter. <laughs> my ATM machine, right? <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ruby said it's a not yet. Yeah, maybe that's what that. Maybe that's that what could, was doing a not yet. Yeah, that could very well be it. Yeah, yeah. So Connie, yeah, this one's a little. Well, I don't know how tricky it is. Um, okay. Anyway, yeah. Hi, Connie. She's wondering um, why did Biden cut his beach trip short? Yeah, it was already in Maryland to meet with the national uh, national security team. What's going on with Iran? Well, yeah, he's he had to basically. So I get maybe we should just look at maybe we could switch this up a little bit um, okay. to read about the future with Iran. I mean, or Iran, because the deal is. Biden's he's still committed to protecting Israel. I uh, I hope that means no more bombs go to Netanyahu, but uh, he's committed to Israel, and um, I guess uh, Iran has attacked Israel. So now what's going to happen? Basically, he had to talk to his national security team because this is a problem. Yes. It's absolutely a problem. Let's do this. Okay. Let's say. Let, let's ask what is Biden going to do? What is Biden going to do about Iran? Let's ask what is Biden, what is Biden going to do about this? Oh, Hilda, future of Iran. Um. Yeah, Connie, I agree. It feels like world leaders are playing a game against Biden. They sure are. That's for damn sure. But then again, you know, Charles reminded me yesterday that there is still a contract out on Trump. Iran still has a contract out on, on Trump. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Hilda. Okay. Deb Z is saying the Pentagon moved U.S. troops to the Middle East to help protect our troops that are there due to, due to Iran. Thank you. Okay. So maybe Biden's okay with the way it is now. We're just, we're just waiting. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Let's we'll see. What, what is Biden going to do? And it might still be in flux. 
Let's see what we got. You know, this sucks. We're headed towards a full moon in Scorpio. A full moon in Scorpio? Yeah. So what does that entail? What is it? Well, Scorpio can be a sting of some type. It, it's, it's not till Tuesday the um, 23rd, but it's in Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what is Biden going to do? All right, I've got some cards here. It feels like with this Page of Wands and this Eight of Wands, he's waiting for more information to come in to make some kind of a determination with this Two of Swords. And look at this, this little wolf kind of creeping up behind here yeah. uh, there's something to be cautious about yeah that biden is kind of tippy toeing around and I, even with the six of swords waiting till things reach a certain point mm -hmm. i dig it this five of swords though so does that mean are we gonna send troops is that what that means more troops well, there could, I mean, if the Pentagon has already moved troops, you know, there, um, it, that sucks. Those, those, then my cards suck too. Okay. Kinda. I mean, he, the, what I get is he's, he, it's getting him. He's, it's in his guts. He's like, you know, and he's, he has three planets in Scorpio. So he's pretty hooked up already. You know, he, he right. has, quite a bit of intuition. And then I think, I can't remember if it's his north or his south node, I think it was in Pisces, so there's that. But anyway, um, guts. It, it's, he'll, he'll, he'll go with his guts, but he is worried about war. Uh -huh. uh, he is waiting for something new to develop, I think. And, and he's listening, listening and watching and trusting his guts probably. And then I've got love potion. So maybe he's got some way to work it. I don't know. Would that be an ally of some sort? That, I, that's what else could it be, right? Let me see if yeah. I can go on. Cauldron and punch and then treadmill and then dust. If I, and that's if I'm just using the tools. So love um, potion, it's like stir in the pot. Oh, okay. if he has to, he's got a he'll punch. He will. He already did. He already did with um, um. When when they were messing with our uh, ships out in the water. In Israel. Oh. He'll do what he has to do. He, I mean. If our if our ships or our people are in danger, if there are any American, you know, right, in danger, he'll 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 pounce. Yeah, it just it sucks. It all sucks pretty much. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's awful. So okay, now back to MTG. Will she will she get voted back in? <laughs> All right. Where's she gonna wind up? Yeah, that Iran energy was. Crazy. It's to yeah, it, it, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's hard answering questions like that because because so much is at stake. Well, that's the thing, and and, it, and that's like asking: Is there going to be a big earthquake and stuff like that? If if, if you get a yes, everybody's going to be afraid, and then their fear is yeah. going to attract it, make it worse. And if and if it's you know, and then if you get something else that oh, don't worry about it, then they're not going to protect themselves. It's like everybody should have comes earthquakes. You should have your go bag packed. You should have things stored up. You shouldn't you shouldn't be driving around without a bunch of water in your car. You should. You know what I mean? Like you should have it. Right. Yeah. This deck, guys, is a modern spellcaster's tarot. Oh yeah, the one that, that um Suzanne and Suzanne and Wayne, Wayne gave you, yeah. Love it. the images on the deck. It's just powerful. Love it. 
They're nice and clear, aren't they? It's easy yeah. to see those kind of decks. Very, very clear. Yeah. Monostat Trader Green. <laughs> oh, Ian is saying uh, the Iranian army is the biggest in the Middle East. 850,000 troops. Holy cannoli. Right. Yeah. Katie Moonchild. Hi, sweetie. She's saying uh, Nighthawk helicopters have been really busy here in Tucson. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Is the man mad blonde in Congress? Will she be voted back in? I know we've read on this before, but okay. Let's see where's she going to wind up. I see you, Charles. He's over there chanting "Rebel card." <laughs> I promise I won't sing again. <laughs> I love it. It's your mother in a world. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell if you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> oh, Marjorie. Hmm. Well, let's see what's at the other end. Yeah. No. Oh God. Oh boy. No, I don't think so. Yeah, she might have been the pipe bomber. She's just, you know, she's as neck and futz as, as Trump. I don't know. She's. I could almost see her just if she were the pipe bomber, she probably would have tripped and fallen, or you know, she's just too dorky. To right. Know. I mean, I can't even see her. Right. I would trust her to go get the newspaper. <laughs> right. I I know. Maybe it was Bobert. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> She's so goofy. So you didn't yeah. get anything very good. Um, I got the five of pentacles. Oh, that's major loss. <laughs> so that, that's that's not good. So it's like go home and lick your wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the wrestling ring and the cave. <laughs> wow. And then the desert lines up in the desert. And all the other ones are just kind of stupid, like, you know, disco ball. She's going to. But that's <laughs> a graveyard. Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> there you have it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's about the third or the fourth time we've read on her, and it's always a no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she is dangerous. You're right, Ian. You're absolutely right. Sharon Sype is here. Hey, Sharon Sype. Hi, Sharon Sype. Oh, Kathy's Guided Light is here. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Mandy, hi. Yeah. Hi, Mandy. Mandy keeps changing her name, I think. Yeah. Yeah. She will. She was. She was. She was. been interesting. She was the very first shield maiden and then somebody else took it. And then so she switched it up after that. I think. I thought she changed I, it even since that. Since yeah. The I think she, this is the third one. I think okay. you, you let us, you let us know, Mandy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Mandy, Denise, yeah. Uh, MTG is setting up a disco in a cave in the desert. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, hi, Fatima. Blessings to you, too. Let's see. Okay, that one is done. I, what we can do, let me get over here to the banners and honor those questions that came in on the, um, since we still have some time, good. I honor the questions that came in on the community section. So Dan Scavino, remember, he, he's a guy with the eyes like this. Dance, oh, yeah. I, gotta be at like six planets in Scorpio or something. It's always like, you know, really intense. Super intense. <laughs> Super, yeah. So has he had enough? Where is he? Where Where is he? He's pretty over the top. Is he, is he out yet or what? Or is he hanging in there? What's he doing? 
Dan Savino. He was one of those that was right there, you know. <laughs> Andy Pandy. Yeah, Six Planets and Scorpios deserving of a t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> I had a friend who's no longer with us. She had seven planets in Leo. Wow. She was a hoot to hang out with. Yeah. And she had a Pisces ascendant, so she was really psychic. So you could just hang out with her and all these jokes would come through. Oh, yeah, fun. And, you know, about whoever was in the group. <laughs> she was that, that is fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey saw MTG doing a workout on X. What? Seems able to pull up while changing a light bulb with her. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Changing a light bulb with her. Ha. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Way to go. Not a stat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No wonder she needs monostat. <laughs> Scary, huh? Jeez. Oh. Oh, there, yeah. get Sorry, that vision out of my head. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> clear, <laughs> just clear, <laughs> clear it out. <sighs> oh, oh. Right. yeah. So, Dan Scavino. Is he is he going to remain loyal to Trump? Is he going to where's he at? What's going on with him? Spiritual Sean says I'm now bleaching my brain. <laughs> God, that was terrible. God, that was bad. Okay, Dan, 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 Dan. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> wow. All right, I got three. Okay. All right, I got the Knight of Cups. I got the Hangman. <laughs> and I got the Ten of Wands. Wow. So I think he's feeling a little overwhelmed. I almost feel like with that Hangman, he's starting to see things a little differently than maybe he used to. Um. I think he's just trying to survive at this point. Yeah. But uh, he may have had enough is when my answer to that question. Yeah. What are you getting? Uh, well, so what, I did a nine box and the, I have the answer card that's always at the right hand corner. <clears throat> so I'll show you that last, but so this one's in the center. So this has to do with who he networks with. Um, and there's there are all these people that he thinks are just not very significant. Like that doesn't import it is not important to him. Mm -hmm. He's too hooked in and intertwined with Trump, but in the future he's got this, you know, there's some some difficulty coming through with that crown, right? Yeah, he and there he is. Like, is he the court jester or what? I was gonna say, I was thinking court jester. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so he's he's got this go sign towards Trump all the time, but then he's gonna go down. He's literally gonna go down. Literally. <laughs> yeah, but it's saying the future isn't written, and the last card I have is you know restriction or jail. So it might he might just wait until it's so bad for him that he can't not flip or but then again, you know that it doesn't go that way, does it? Because they'll offer plea agreements. If you don't take them in the, you know, up front, you end up going down with the clown. That's true. Oh, yeah, these cards in are like your jester, <laughs> your jester card. Down yeah. with the clown, yeah. Yeah, that's how it was. Wow. <laughs> wah, but then, wah, wah. then then if one more card, freedom. There's freedom. So I think he I think he does wind up flipping later on. Takes the plea deal, huh? I think so. 
that would be the you know if I were in any situation with Trump at this point, I I would take a plea deal. Right. I mean, just to go down with the ship with him when you know everything he touches is poo. I yeah. wouldn't risk it. I would totally take a plea deal. With 91 felony counts in four cases, it's like something's going to stick. Like, what loyalty is there to stick around? Right. Well, when you're his I'm age. Dealing, save my ass. Yeah. 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 Don't get bonus it. points for hanging in there. Yeah. No, you don't. Well, yeah, you end up in, yeah. Ian thinks he won't flip. Okay. We'll just have to wait and see because maybe, you know, maybe he won't. Maybe it's maybe that's why we got the uh, restriction card because maybe he won't flip and he'll just end up going to jail. Mm. Yeah. But he did get that one card where the future isn't written yet. So yeah. spiritual Sean said I would have been first. Right. <laughs> I've got things to say. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell Let you. Me type something. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Come over. I'll make dinner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Totally. on out of this yeah. bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely. God. Yeah. Um, this one is from quite some time ago, but let's take care of it. Um, 45 found the funds to put in escrow to file an appeal to the E. Jean Carroll decision. Will he win that appeal? Yeah, that, that's the one that's still in there. I don't even know what the date is on that one. You know, I don't know. Yeah, but he did. He put up that. I think he had to put up ninety-one million to do because it was like the eighty-three plus five, something like that. Will he win an appeal? There we go. The simple yes or no. Weird. I guess I could use the pendulum. Well, I'll just pull two cards. See what happens. Oh, I'm getting some weird body vibes. I got thief in the world. He, he's going to get hard, hit hard with this one. Is he going to run away? Is he going to try to run away? Oh, escape? Yeah, because my like, I, I've got this a massive amount of heat coming in on my right hip. I'm sitting there like, what the hell is that about? And then you hold up the cards, and now I'm thinking... You know, what is it? Exit stage left. <laughs> right. Like, is he going to run before? Is this thing going to take so much time that it is a different deck? Is it going to take, let's, let's look at the future with this Eugene Carroll case. I mean, he's lost and she has the best attorney that, what's her name, Roberta Kaplan. Um, well, how's this going to go down? She already won. He's already known to be a rapist in the state of New York. Because I've gotten that before, that when the going gets really tough, um, yeah, Rose Blue is saying he can't on four bail, bail bonds. But is he going to have any money left to give her when the time comes? <laughs> no. Yeah. So how's this going to go? Will he win? How's, how will it go for him? Yeah. Okay. You know, every time we kind of do a reading along these lines, I always kind of get cards that indicate that the thought always crosses his mind. Um, yeah. Like he's got plan B or something, right? Yeah. I got the magician. So <laughs> this appearing act is definitely on the table for him, but with the three of wands and the seven of cups. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to work out for him. And I didn't get anything like it, but I almost feel like because of his health, uh, I don't think he'd be able to make such a, a dash. I think he's got to stay near 
his sources for medical things. I think he's got something going on where he can't just be on the loose. He needs somebody he can report to yeah. unless that person, that group of people or whatever goes with him. But he, there's some kind of a resource. Maybe that's what all these little guys are. All these cups are. I don't know. He's got a, different resources he needs to stay close to. And they probably have such a a lock on him. I don't think he can go anywhere, but well, if he, he leaves brings the it USA, up a lot. but if he does leave the USA, he wouldn't have resources to all the meds that he No, needs. he wouldn't. It's like that from, you know, like yeah, he's not like up now with Walter Walter Reed and, you know, right. Don Jr. is hooking him up too. What do you have? I uh, I I got that he's a, the uh, he'll, he will lose, like he, he will lose. Um, and there, I don't know, maybe there's some look back or something. Um, and then again, another level, it's just, these are both the two fraudster and scam artists in the, in the deck. Um, but he's going to lose uh, his grifting won't work. There's the, the, uh, document, the, the evidence, the, uh, the decree I'm thinking could go around and around and around for a while, but it's going to end up staying in the place where she has won. Like she's, she's definitely won. Okay. At the end of the, the other end of the uh, deck, I've got like, he he's, he's navigating under all this confusion and then he, it ends up like he just dead, done. Yeah. <laughs> dead, done. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> right. Or a big painful loss. The coffin's a big painful loss. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Um, yeah, there's over here. Um, yeah, there we go. Figure out which one it is here. Um, yeah, we're almost at the, I think I'll save these for next week. And they, they're actually not time sensitive at all. Let's do some cards for you guys. Right. I need to right. find my, uh... Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, you oh, want to do your, yeah. Yeah. You're right. I won't sing it. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your opening on the. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. When somebody first comes to your page. <laughs> Denise, Denise Divination. So I will make an ass out of myself for you. <laughs> trying to figure out which deck. I love your new name to your channel, Denise Knight Divination. Oh, it, 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 it matches my uh, website now. Nice. Or not my website name, but you know the opening page and all that. And I can fit it on a on a on a thumbnail. <laughs> Couldn't fit the oh, other yeah. thumbnail. It's just too damn long. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Hilda. Cards for this next week. Who? Somebody won. Hi, innocent potato. Um. Oh my goodness, Fizzlers is saying Iran, Iran, I'm sorry, I can't say Iran has launched a massive drone strike on Israel. Hmm. You know, this is, wow. Yeah. We're not doing personal readings. <laughs> We're both available for sessions that, for personal readings. You can, you know, go to our websites and book. Very easily. The calendar and everything is right there and you can book. But yep, yep. These, these are general cards for everyone here. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles wants his rebel card, of course. Yes, I have yeah. a rebel card ready. <laughs> so for those of you who just got here, <laughs> you get to hear this raunchy card. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you've never been here before. <laughs> If you have delicate ears. <laughs> this isn't what we do the whole time. This is just this one 20 yes. second moment here. All right. <laughs> this is for everybody. They broke your heart. Aw. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Let it go. <laughs> right? I did I have the other deck. 
uh, the you know the the inner fucking peace deck. Yeah, I love that deck. Let's let me see what this one says. Because so okay. far I just have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Like nobody wants to work this next week. Yeah. <laughs> I can relate to that. Yes. Right. <laughs> but let's see what what do we have here? Oh, meditate. Mm. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> it is. Might as well be productive, right? <laughs> I was meditating this morning, and then when, then when I was done, I turned I turned the news on, and I and I listening to what's his name, Dan something. I've never liked the guy. Uh, he was on MSNBC. I can't remember his. It's not Dan Scavino. It's Dan. Oh, oh. the dark haired guy. Yeah, the dark haired guy. I don't know. I can't I think of his last name. I can see him. Yeah, the, for for some, he, I don't know. He's a. I guess he's been an attorney and he's got legal background and all that. Yeah. And he, he starts comparing something to like astrology. You know, it's about as lame as astrology. And I'm like, fuck you. Really? You went there? Huh? Right out of a meditation. Dan Abrams. I, that's, I, his name. that's it. <laughs> yeah. And his hair's not even dark anymore. He's got graying hair, but. I yeah, is, is, is he? Yeah. I think he's dying it or something or whatever. Yeah. What's his <laughs> last name? Abrams. Was it Abrams? Was it that one? Maybe. That no, I don't know if it was. I think it's something else. Oh, really? There could be two of them. Oh, there's probably a bunch of them. Don't believe in astrology. They're all named Dan. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it, maybe it was Abrams. I don't know. Um, I don't right? know. Right? Rose Blue. Oh, that asshole. Right? <laughs> Oh, Andy Pandy, I'm throwing a wrench at you. Very good. Or do you already have one? No, you don't. Now you do. Oh, definitely light and love coming out for these people who lost. Oh, it is so painful listening to that about that. And did you hear oh, about that, Lisa? I did. Yeah. In Sydney, the Bondi. Yes, let's send tons of love to those families who are grieving. And wow, yeah, it's awful, awful. <sighs> yes, Andy. Andy said, "Ooh, I'm not even sure what that means." I'll wrench things like a boss. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you yeah, got to. That's how you. Yeah, I'll take that wrench right. proudly. <laughs> I'll work it. <laughs> whatever this is, whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. I'll figure out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Constance Darnan. I'm sorry. Well, okay. You can watch the, the replay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm innocent potato is saying I had, she has a relative who studied astrology because she wanted to disprove it. Guess what she does now? She's an astrologer. I love, I that's swear. A perfect story right there. Every that week when crazy. I do the transits, I'm like, you gotta love astrology because I mean, it's going, I'm, it, I can watch the news and make sense of the astrology, right? I, or I, I just love where the just, planets are and I watch the news and go, yep, that makes sense. That That is so your superpower. I say that all the time. I just, I always have to have it explained to me, but I just love that you just, you know it. I mean, there's a knowing there. Um, oh, uh, it's just like second language, you know. It, so you just it, it just makes I sense I, for you. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I can't. I can't speak any other language as far as like a second language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is like, that's pretty sad. But anyway. Yeah. Is Pisces still in Saturn? No, Saturn is in Pisces. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's kicking your butt. Oh, it's okay. It, it'll help you. It'll help you mature. It'll help you master an area of your life. Just hang in there with it. Don't fight it. It's trying to help you. But I know it doesn't, you don't have the same energy, do you? It's kind of like mm. carrying around a ball and chain. Try not to be too serious. Try to have fun. Always. Try to, try to have more fun. Yeah. If you've got Saturn, like on your sun or moon or something. Yeah. Oh, so honey, are you going live pretty soon? I think I'm going to go live later. I haven't set yeah. it up yet, but yeah, I, yeah. I'm, 
I need to. I didn't do it last week. So, so watch, you those, wanna, watch yeah, for those look. notifications that won't come through. Can, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> just, tell, just tell them what time. So then you'll they'll watch. I think it's going to be at, let's do 630. So two hours from now, wherever you are. Okay. 630 Eastern. And we'll do a Lisa live. No readings. It, it, let me throw that out there. We're not going to do readings. It's been a while. We all need to catch up, get everybody in the chat, reacclimated with each other. We're just hanging out. It's like a break from politics, yeah. from readings, yeah. bring a beverage. I will have one or two. And you never and know like what, what's going to happen. That's what I love. We never know. It's you whatever know. the cat's in the mood for. Because sometimes I actually will come in with a plan. It's like, you know, let's do this tonight it ends up being something completely different so yeah um it'll be fun and i miss doing it when i don't get to so right you miss everyone i do yeah yeah, yeah. oh well just so many prayers and hugs going out for you guys and tons of energy if you need extra energy yeah mm -hmm. yeah it, I mean, I know it's it's not easy for Pisces right now. It's it's not. Mars will move past soon, and that will then it'll be just Saturn and Neptune, and it, it'll. But you know, we're kind of midway through Saturn. Yeah. So, do you ever get? Uh, how was the eclipse for you, Denise? Do you get a reaction off of that? It was, was good it? for me, actually. You Both know, it made that. me it made me emotional. Oh, the first one or the second one? The second one. Oh, the second one? Oh. Mm -hmm. I got emotional. Because so. of like the miracle that was happening in the sky kind of a thing? Or emotional? I don't, oh. I don't know. <laughs> you just had more feel. You were more, you had a lot more feelings. Yeah. I was just mushy gushy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah for sure. A gateway opened. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now making me going to have to look at your chart. <laughs> Check out the chart. Let me know what's going on. The only way I can answer that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Lisa said she, Lisa Arnold, she cried when she watched it. Yeah. It's oh, see? The oh. one in 2017 was like, it's a huge thing. If you, if you get to see it, it's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, good boy, everyone. Thanks for hanging yes. out with us. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you for all the donations. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>